Welcome to Trade Doc, the option trader, where we recap today's close, look at the futures, and scan through our ETF watch list to spot opportunity. Today is October 20th, 2016, and the markets closed a little red today. Um, the S&P is down almost three points. Uh, the Dow is down 40.25. Seven, Nasdaq down four and a half, and the Russell down almost three points. Looking at the futures, futures the majors show us slightly in the red. Uh, bonds are down a hair. Uh, VIX is up one percent. Uh, crude oil is down at fifty and fifty-two. Natural gas down one percent at 310 gold came down and it's hovering at 1266.20 silver is at 1747 uh, copper and palladium down slightly uh, the dollar is holding up slightly um, Aussie is up a tenth of a percent and the British pound is at 1.226 losing a little bit from yesterday when it was 1.23 um, let's get into the charts and oil came down today almost two points after yesterday's pop some news that um, we know what's gonna happen is nobody wants to believe it still up above its 20-day moving average and we could see this going back down to this trend line. Oil explorers had a bigger move up um, the gap down, but it closed up a little over a quarter percent and um, might be setting up pretty close to set up for a short. This trend line here is going to show it, and yeah, it's kind of like a rising wedge. So, definitely, uh, hopefully, it gets a little higher to put, uh, we'll put, a, put a couple of short positions on some ex oil explorers. Natural gas gap down close pretty much unchanged down almost a quarter percent uh, gold came down a little over a quarter percent 0.13 and we still have our position there and we can see this come and find support in this cluster of open and close the gold miners still have our long position where we bought it Tra moving in this channel hopefully I can draw a channel that will come up as a matter of fact let me just put a trend line here that shows some price action from right before the drop say we get up above this line then we can see that we can say gold will keep continuing to go on uh, gold miners to continue to go up higher. Uh, this is silver. Silver came down almost a 1%. We still have our long position on there. Drew a couple extra trend lines. You can see an apex is traveling. I expect this to move up or down once it gets into this area here. Uh, these are the bonds. As we said yesterday that they definitely don't continue after three days moving up. They, these are the three days here. And on the third day, after the third day, you get a drop. But it actually closed a little bit above yesterday's close. So I guess you can't call that a drop. Call that uh, an even. It is the energy sector still traveling sideways? We have this this rising channel. Still have this rising channel. We drew in this horizontal channel, which you expect to trade in that channel. This mid trend line here is the one I'm waiting for it to drop below here, in order 
to confirm this channel here. So as soon as it drops below this um, mid chain, this rising channel, this is the midline of the rising channel, let's get below there and then we'll confirm and trade between here with some high condo. It's really easy, easy stuff. Um, this is the financial sector. We still have a short here, but we said if if it go if it moves above this trend line, then we'll have to remove this. But it hasn't yet. Expect it to keep traveling here and then come down. The industrial sector, we have this as a support trend line, and it should keep traveling this area and wait for it to break up or down from there. Um, the utilities moving up, uh, close unchanged, 0.08%. No position on there. This is uh, material sector, same thing, close unchanged, uh, down 0 0.09 for the day. Um, this is healthcare sector. We still have our long position when we got our signal. I'm still holding on today. It was up almost a half percent for the for the entire healthcare sector. Uh, here's the real estate sector, um, closing down about one percent. We have a channel here. Uh, let's just put that in, starting from here. It's a little off, but we'll have to tweak. That covers all of them. So that kind of gives you an idea. It's moving towards the top of the channel. So expect things to happen once it touches that, whether it comes back down or it breaks out of that channel. Here's the home builders where we did have a put a long position in yesterday, and I did trade. Uh, the home builders ETF, as you can see, it went down uh, about almost uh, a little over three, almost three quarters percent. But it's still in that buy signal, so I'm only depending on this this buy signal. So I expect this to move up again tomorrow. It's not going to be an underwater or bad trade. Here is the real uh, retail sector retail ETF we had a sell on it a sell didn't look good yesterday but it's looking a lot better today um, it's gonna hold that position You're gonna expect it to trade in that channel uh, you can always rewind and relook at the video if you wanted to see it but we're gonna see it fall down past that channel even though in the holidays is the consumer staples um, hovering close almost unchanged uh, just gave us a start at the bottom right at right uh, just broke support so we can almost sell sell here but I wanted to give it a, a quick bear pullback and then I'll put a sell signal on this is the US dollar breaking to all to new high well I'm not this is a nine month a nine, nine month chart so it's higher it's been in nine months this is not good for uh, uh, equities, but um, that's what's happening. There's the spy. <clears throat> the spy down slightly, still underneath its that support level trend line. You can probably expect it to keep moving down. There's the diamonds, the Dow, right at the mid range of that channel. Expect this to keep trading sideways within that channel. Small caps, I uh, have no trend lines on there, and I trade this like all the time. Uh, that gives you a little something to look at. Let's see if it did. I'll put it right there. And that is uh, a pretty big gap, so there's one step. This is where it's working on the second step. And we leave with the cubes still working, and it is it closed.